What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. This one in particular, we're going to be going over to a specified location where we have to, uh, I mean, I guess pretty much lift up a, a, a flag to show a certain group of individuals who are uh, essentially remnants of the United States Army, not Enclave, of course. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting seeing as I'm actually a veteran of the United States Army. So this mission is actually pretty cool to see, you know, veterans or prior United States military. So it's going to be pretty cool in a nutshell. So first things first, though, uh, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. All right. So first things first, I got to eat and drink because I am at that point. And luckily I have that uh, perk or that mutation that lets me eat raw thing with just ba basically minimal uh, stuff. Let's drink a Nuka Cherry and a couple of Nuka Quantums. Very nice. Um, you know what else we could do? We can take a... No, hold on. Where's that? Uh, Rataway. Uh, Rataway. So that we can get rid of our reds that we just got. And we got plenty to go around. Alright, perfect. Alright, so where are we off to? Um, uh, I don't think it shows on my map yet because this game is ridiculous sometimes. But I remember it being in the mire. Alright, there it is. Alright, there we go. So let's go ahead and go to the Valley Galleria. And then we'll go from there. Wait, I don't remember taking that picture. Oh, I think that's from the, um, well, uh, what's his, I forgot his name. The Mr. Handy from, uh, from the Overseer's Place. He sends you to basically do some reconnaissance mission. You got a photograph, whatever. Uh, well, long story short, I'm pretty sure this is where that's from. All right, there we go. So where are we going? 60 in that direction. Oh, I'm, I don't know why I was looking for a companion. There's no companions. Aw. Poor guys. Let's go ahead and uh, come over here. This actually looks pretty nice. Actually, I kind of want to take a picture of this. It's nighttime though, so it kind of sucks, but... um. Right, yeah, you know what? It's not a very good picture after all. So let's go ahead and raise the American flag. <laughs> it's weird that the other one stayed behind. Vault dweller, we see your signal. Make your way due north towards the hill. You'll see a concrete bunker. We will be watching your approach carefully. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> go before I get diseased. Run for it. All right. Oh, fuck. I thought I heard him. Ah! All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Die, damn it. Did we make it? Look at me. I'm covered and drenched in blood. Disgusting. Such a beautiful sight right here. This. All right, let's kill this dude. And then we will take a picture. I wish it was daytime, though. This actually is a pretty decent picture. We'll do it right here like this to get ev to encompass everything. Bam, bingo. These U.S. Army guys are like, why did you take a picture? <laughs> All right, we're, we're, I'm here. Ransacked bunker. Well, let's do this. Um, look at that U.S. Army. I really wish there was a U.S. Army bundle that we could get from the atomic shop. That would be amazing. I would so grab. Well, I mean, technically, I grab everything, but it would be amazing if I was to get. Oh, dude, I want to take a picture of this too. 
Uh, can I zoom in? And right there. Yep. Good. Let's go. Let's put this away, though, because I don't want them to get scared. Captain Fields. Oliver Fields. Captain, United States Army. Now that we got the pleasantries out of the way, I have one question for you. Why the hell are you planning on stealing America's gold reserve? Uncle Sam not give you enough hugs and kisses while he was keeping you safe in that vault? Uh, we actually want to use it for something good. We want to rebuild the currency uh, out of the gold in the reserves to create a real life economy. World ends, and suddenly every Tom, Dick, and Mary thinks they're in charge. What makes you so special, huh? I mean, it's me. <laughs> um, I wasn't a soldier, I was actually a Sergeant E5. But hey, you know what, for the game, uh, I'm actually a fellow soldier, uh, Private First Class. Did you enlist before the vault? Where's the rest of your unit? Where, where did you serve? <sighs> I have so many questions, but I guess there's no time. Do you know what your vault's primary mission was? Not the Rebuilding America Bull, the real mission. Uh... Hmm... Well, our overseer was supposed to secure uh, the Appalachia's nuclear missile silos. That sounds in line with vault -Tec's M.O. I'm sure they didn't bother checking if that's okay with the Pentagon. All right, people, what do we think of this vault dweller? Radcliffe, Thompson, Lucky? I mean, I give anyone who doesn't shoot it as bonus points, so checks out to me. Yeah, holds up with everything we were able to recon. Page wasn't lying, at least. I love that dog. <laughs> All right, looks like you passed the test. Good. Now let's talk about this Vault 79 you're so keen on breaking into. Um... Well, there's a battery of high-end turrets that we need to get past. Oh, we know all about them. Luckily, Paige gave us enough info to ID the problem. Sergeant Radcliffe, you want to take it from here? We're dealing with Robco's semi-autonomous and mobile weapon platform. Only used for special government procurement. Extra thick ballistic shielding, plus reflective paneling, and internal temperature regulation. Even has built-in air freshness. <laughs> but can your new buddy Radcliffe beat him? Of course he can. Just need a little help from the source. Uh, well, I mean, anything you need, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Seeing as we have a good feeling about you, I say we work together on this one. You That's and I fair. are going to meet up at the Rob Cole Research Center down near Watoga. See if we can find the equipment I need to bust through those turrets. And we better hope we do, because my only backup plan is politely asking the turrets not to shoot us. And that never goes well. Alright, I mean, that's fair. I'll see you there. It'll be fun. Forget the theme parks. There's nothing like scavenging a research center. I agree. Um... Come on, just make the best of it, people. Let's go ahead and scrap. Doesn't look we like need we need to make another supply scrap. run. Um, went last time. I think we're good as far as this, carry weight goes for now. Uh, let's look around real quick. Dude, these guys were like smart. Look at them. Beakers with stuff on it. What does that say? Uh, sodium nitrite. I see some sulfate. It's kind of hard to read, to be honest. But they have like... Oh, they're uh, doing from the seat for, for each season. It's fall, spring, air planting? After planting? I don't know. It's kind of hard to read. Um, all right, screw it. Let's go ahead and just fast travel there. Luckily, we've already discovered this place multiple times in our playthrough. So let's go ahead and go and take care of business with the United States Army, Radcliffe specifically. I didn't catch his name. I mean, his uh, rank. It's probably uh, important since I'm a, I'm just a little tiny private first class. He's probably like a sergeant or something. 
I like this guy. I like all these. I like all three of these. I really wish we had like a companion to live at uh, our base. That was a, you know, a military person. I don't care. So let's go ahead and just go in. Run! I'm not an intruder. You don't know me like that. Got him. Oh, I missed that guy. That was my original main character. Uh, he was so bugged out, though. Um, I kind of had to start over when uh, with the when the backpack DLC up ever upwards came out because I couldn't get a backpack. All right, hey, Sergeant Radcliffe. You're not dead. I owe Thompson a cold one. Remember, we're looking for military research projects. General rule: they keep the good stuff in the back. All right, so hmm. are we just I doing this? Come back to that later. All right, let's go. Come on, Radcliffe, Sergeant Radcliffe. Excuse me. Um, research wing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, Here we go. switch Skunk works. camera views. I'm not trying to die here. Me. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, they're up there. Let's go. Oh, God. There's a little bit of everything over here. Oh, God. You. Thank you for dying. Your sacrifice will not go in vain. All right. Well, I couldn't target him for some reason. Where is Radcliffe? Did you do anything at all, Radcliffe? Uh, look at that. Just needs a brain. I found it. That was quick. Uh, a clarification. I'm not volunteering. Couldn't work my magic with those pincers anyway. They probably got some brains in storage somewhere. That seems like a very them thing to do. All right, search for information. Looks like it's in here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, good news, everyone. I'm excited to announce that Robco has agreed to my proposal to preserve the entire research team's collective intelligence through a, a sure extraction program. You will each have your uh, cranial cavity scooped out and your brain suspended in a biomedical solution that will keep your cognitive functions intact and ready to be used for several lifetimes. And to think. Uh, we'll even enjoy the benefits of leaving behind our accursed flesh and becoming our, a horrific uh, synchronization of mind and metal. Ah, the future is looking up. Brain replacement procedures. The entire research team jarred their brains? Whew. I wonder how that went over. Good news for us though, right? <laughs> I suppose. Just need to get one of them up and running. All right, a preserved brain can be mounted on a functioning robo brain chassis uh, in order to resume any and all previous employee fa uh, functions. Step one, pick the brain, go to uh, containment area and take a jar out of storage. Only one brain can be mounted in the chassis at a time. The wiring is permanent, so choose carefully. Step two, cook the brain. Ew. Uh, the preservation process isn't perfect. Contamination can build up in the biometric gel mixture, requiring a little sizzling to reactive uh, to reactivate the tissue. Our expert technicians can help you through this to avoid any damage. Step three: uh, plate the brain. You'll see, or yeah, plate the brain. You'll see. Uh, you'll need. To pick up the dome from storage and mount it on the robo brain uh, chassis then carefully pour the contents of the brain jar into the dome and attach the brain stem to the neural motivator port easy yeah of course easy lodge complaint with management error um, okay turret change catalog all right sure why not looks like that's everything we have here so now we gotta find a suitable brain. This seems like it's gonna be tough. Approach. 
damage. Oh, and hello. Identify yourself. Why can't we use these? <clears throat> law of what the hell is shooting at me? Will not <clears throat> be on. <clears throat> Shut up. I'm glad I made your day. Oh, he didn't die. Bastard. Alright, let's go. Well, first things first, I need to attack this thing, because that thing is absolutely brutal on my armor. Oh, God. There's so many. I think I need a step back. All right, where's that other guy? There he is. You! Die. I need to clear this place out super bad. Is that everybody? Nope. If you say so. All right. False alarm. Standing Let's start in here. Hello. In charge will be an obvious oh. You could run. I am trying to kill you, you know. Alright, I don't know which one is the best one. So, Dr. Dias's brain. Um. Examine the brain thoroughly. There's an unusual patterning in the frontal lobe. Uh, the discoloration around the area of uh, pineal gland also gives you pause. Dr. Bias might have an unstable personality. Okay, no, unstable personality doesn't sound like a good idea. Gina's brain. Um, examine. It, if it's possible for a brain to radiate si uh, sadness, this one does. The folding of the cerebral cor cortex is quite complex, however. Alright, so this one's a possibility. It's just depressed. What about this one? Uh, immobile weapons research. All right, examine. This is truly, this is a truly unremarkable, unremar, unremarkable brain. The best possible sense. Assuming the extraction process didn't traumatize him, Greg Goldstein should be a perfectly normal mind to talk to. All right, this one seems good. So let's go ahead and take this one. Did I take it? All right, good. Apparently there was a little bit of lag or something. Uh, so now where do we go? We go this way. Prep the brain. Is it in here, maybe? Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. It looks like so. You sure we're not sous chefs and some kind of weird zombie cooking show type? Normally, I'm all about randomly fiddling. Considering this brain is a limited resource, I better find some instructions first. Uh, I barely heard you, man, to be honest. I was busy over here. Instructions. All right. Quickly sod note. It was smart enough to write the settings down at least. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out which number goes where. All right. Set it to seven. Just neutral like pure water. The brain is happy. Set it to seven. pH valve. Um... Set it to seven. Temperature set. I don't know that. Oh no. I don't think this thing is going to work without a brain job placed on it. Uh, I need more more notes. So set it to seven. No, damn it. Since you always burn the popcorn, this should be uh, the set just the three. Okay, so this is the temperature. Temperature sets to three. Let's listen to this. Or not. Temperature is at three. What is this? 41 degrees. All right. 41 degrees. Temperature 41. And then three. Uh, do we have to place the jar? Yes. All right. Greg Goldstein. Did we do it? 
I think I want to say we did it. Prepped All brain right. added. Look Yay! At you. The chef supreme of brain. Chef brain RD. <laughs> chef the brain zine. I like That's that. I got. Chef brain RD. I love it. All right, so now we have to go back over here. Looks like I gotta kill this assaultron. Oh no. Good. Commencing attack on hostile target. Die. Screw you, buddy. Oh, come on. Woo! That's all of them. I had to kill the assaultron first. Thanks, Sergeant, for helping. Not. All right, what do we need to find a robo brain dome and facilities? All right, where's facilities? Wait, is that where we weren't? The, isn't that where we just were? No, that's assembly. Facilities. Is that over there? No. Storage. Alright, it's gotta be upstairs then. Facilities. I wonder where facilities is. Over here, maybe? You think when we wait this Oh god. What I'm saying. Oh no. Alright, thank god I was able to get it. That thing was high. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'll take that mac and cheese too. Oh! Actually, we went to the right place. I didn't even realize it. Take Rubble Brain Head Dome. I think we got everything. What? There's nothing in the trunk? No junk in the trunk? That's an atro atrocity. Atrocity. Fuck, I can't speak right now. Is it that way? No. Um, it's gotta be this way, but I think it's downstairs. Alright, there we go. We found it. Let's go. Add Goldstein's brain. Hell yeah, boy! Do I talk to him? Oh no, oh god. I knew that overtime clause in my contract was a mistake. I don't remember you from the research team. Um, Rupko's gone. The whole country's been doomed out of uh, existence. Uh, you can destroy this place after we leave. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this guy's insane. Actually, uh, I kind of need your help to bypass some experimental uh, uh, tur tur turrets. Holy crap, I can't talk right now. Oh. You want me to make tools that will destroy the turrets? Please? Really? Sure. Come on. We'll need to use the fabricators. Follow me. Yes, sir. You have no idea how many times we had to assemble and tear down the kill zone emplacement until Dr. Diaz was happy. Hey, practice makes perfect. This dude's a maniac. Oh no. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I guess we gotta do the protecting. <laughs> Die! <laughs> oh, he's not dead. I hope we can see <laughs> Die! Is that it? Look at him putting in work. I want to take a picture of this guy. <laughs> I like pictures. I came into the office when the bombs were falling because I was scheduled. And I feared her more than the Great War. Hey, man. So the tools? Can you get to making those tools? Oh, yeah. Well, I can make it so the power just shuts down completely. Do you know how many times I had to rewire these turrets? I do not know. But I sense you're going to... She made us move them all <laughs> over the office during testing. Every day was different. Oh god, here it goes. Um... Let's go! I'm not worried about any of you guys. Did you just freaking hit me, asshole? There you go. 
is he doing anyways? Let me see. Hold on, let me see what this would look Move like. Move them to the coffee area. Move them to the hallway that leads to the bathroom. Make the whole brick room a kill zone. Let's grab the tools and go. I don't want to stick around in case this guy cracks. Yay. He cracks more. I don't want to see his crack. <laughs> Might as well go destroy it. Or maybe... <laughs> Experiment on it. Yeah. This dude's a maniac. Back at the home base. This place is giving me the creeps. We'll do, uh, Sergeant Radcliffe. It was a pleasure to work with you, sir. Catch you later, sir. Alright, let's go ahead and just fast travel. I don't think we need that guy anymore. Uh, it was in the mire, so it's up here. It sucks that it doesn't have its own uh, fast travel point marker or location. Uh, but it's all good, though. We can just always run there it's not like it's very far anyways hopefully those blood bugs and stuff didn't respond though because if that's the case we're well i mean i guess we don't really have to kill them we could just run right past them and just go straight into the bunker so i guess it doesn't really matter but still that robot was a freaking lunatic wasn't he <laughs> uh yeah i guess he's got his own facility though to do his experiments but he did seem pretty level-minded All right, let's see here. Let's go. Hiya. Oh god. Get out of there. Doesn't look like anyone respawned, so I think we're good. Get out of the water before we get some, like, dysentery or something. U.S. Army. Actually, I really like this. Oh, now it shows me ransack bunker. I really like this picture. Bingo! Let's go. I really wish we could build bunkers. That'd be badass. Like, U.S. Army bunkers. Let's go. We don't need that anymore. I wonder why it didn't uh, give me the map marker before. Oh, hello. What's up, guys? Sergeant Radcliffe reports that you procured the tools we need. Absolutely. I'm impressed. Thanks, sir. Uh, we definitely made a good team. Interesting choice of words. You've been making a good team for some time now, haven't you? Page, Dr. Hornwright, that hyperactive communist kid, and now us. <laughs> you sure picked a strange team, but you've shown that you can follow through. I'm convinced you'll actually pull this damn thing off. We'll be packing up and heading over to Foundation. No sense coordinating from two places. Eager to get this done, so let us know when. Awesome. We did it. Talk to Page. I mean, I guess we could just fast travel straight Come on, there. Just make the best of it, people. Let's go. This is gonna be amazing, but chances are we're not gonna side with Foundation. I think this is the last mission, to be honest. But now, I I want to say if this is the last one in the next video, we're definitely gonna be doing, uh, the whole uh, Raider side of it. And once we get to the end of that quest line, I'm probably going to, like, put a stop or whatever to this series until I make up my decision on who or which side I'm going to choose. Realistically, um, I'm leaning towards the Raiders, but of course, I'm not entirely sure at the moment. So we'll see. We shall see. Page is going to be happy, though, until we potentially side up with the other side. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, no, what, what am I doing? Wait, hold on. There we go. Let's go. I could really go for a hoagie. Why is he still naked? Uh, sandwich. All right, let's go. 
I'm just gonna ignore he ever existed because that guy is an absolute creep who likes to be naked for some reason. But hey, you know what? No judgment here. Whatever. If you're one of those free people that like to be liberated with no clothes, have at it, bruh. Who would have thought a liberator would have led to all that? What? Sure. What's up, sir? You really know that whole over-deliver mantra, don't you? Captain Fields and his soldiers say they're here to stay. We got the crew and the equipment. All that's left is to get to work. You let me know when you're ready, because once we start, it's gonna be real noisy. Uh, any other, uh, preparations we can make? My turn on no. Duty. We're already here. You've built a team, and we're all just waiting on you to lead it. Just let me know when you're ready. Awesome, let's see what we get. And I got a reputation increase. <sighs> Purified water, fire, heavy combat armor. Old guard. Nice, it's a unique weapon, I think. It's only a one star though, so it's not that great to be honest, but it is what it is. Siding with foundation. That's basically the end of this quest line, isn't it? So I think we're going to call it a video right here, right now. Uh, in the next video, we're definitely gonna be going over to the crater and starting the whole raider side of things. So that should be pretty interesting to say the least. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge, huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. If you're looking to